What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the uh, Squad Builder Challenge Gignac, uh, the Mexican League uh, thing where, you know, you get an 86 rated blue and purple Gignac, and this should have been out a few days ago, but uh, I just forgot about it, to be perfectly honest, like, you know, I, I presumed I'd already uploaded it, and then looked at my clips that I hadn't uploaded, and uh, yeah, it was sat there, so apologies for that, this should have been done three, four, five days ago, but anyhow, because I do every single squad builder challenge, it doesn't matter if it's late, although I try and do them as soon as possible, I'm still going to bring you it. And uh, yeah, here it is. And obviously I've sped up the footage because it's quite self-explanatory what you've got to do. But um, is it is it worth it? Like this one, there's, there's a couple of teams, particularly the first two, I think Atlas and uh, whatever the next team is, they were unbelievably expensive. There were some players there that uh, I had to buy for like 4K. But then as you gradually go further down the list, uh, the, the last 10 or so teams are relatively cheap. There's like a lot of bronze players, which of course you can pick up for 200 coins, the, uh, the non-rares. And then there's a couple of teams in there that you don't actually need 11 players from that club because there's not enough. So you only need, I think, 7 or 9. And uh, yeah, it's very easy to fill in the blanks with 200 coin bronze players. So overall, this entire thing probably cost me around about 150k. Um, and obviously you get the gig knack, you get the pack values, you get 22,000 back. So roughly, you know, we'll say 125,000 it costs. So it is, uh, it's, it's hard to say whether it's worth it because it depends like that Gignac card's very good he's easy to get into a hybrid because he's French unlike some of the other ones where it's a little bit harder there are so many overpowered French players so it's quite easy to get him into a team he's got 90 shooting he looks like he's going to be you know one of those strong strikers like where it's purely down to finishing that makes him good so if you partnered him with someone pacey um he might be decent but for 120k, I don't think he's worth that, so it just depends what you get from the packs. The reason what I like these SBCs in particular is because, they're, although they're expensive, you do get a pack per team, so you could, even in silver packs, get players that are worth 2 to 4, maybe even higher, um, if they're silver rares, k uh, per pack because of SBCs, and the more that they bring out, the more leagues and stuff, then the more valuable... Uh, silvers will become so there'll be more of them as well but there you go there's the uh, the gignac there but that's why I like it. it's a risk it's effectively a pack opening where you do get a reward at the end of it you get the untradeable SBC card sometimes coins sometimes a bonus pack but then you get packs throughout and as you see unlike the last one that I did um, I'm actually opening them all at once now the packs and uh, I don't think I got anything absolutely amazing. I think I got a couple of decent pulls though. So I think all in all with the pack value, uh, if you take that into consideration, I've probably spent in the region of 50k for this card, which is probably still a little overpriced because if he was on the market because of his league, even though he's a decent nation, I think he'd probably go for 30k maybe, maybe slightly more so. It balances out, but of course he's not everyone's cup of tea and... Um, yeah, it, it just depends what you get in the packs. You do get a wide variety. The worst packs are the ones I'm opening now. I think uh, the rare players packs where you just get one rare and then there's a mixture of gold, silvers and bronzes. I really don't like them. But there are some decent packs in there, like a 15k pack. I think there's a couple of 25s. There's obviously a lot of 7.5s. Uh, the 5k packs aren't that good either because you only get one rare. I don't like the jumbo packs, which is 24 items, 3 rares, because it's very hard to get something good, so the ones I'm opening now. I like all the silver packs though, although they're not desirable, you've got a very, very high chance of packing someone that's going to be value in an SBC, so I think they're decent. So overall, I think from the 18 packs, there's about 8 that... Um, maybe 10 that are actually like quite good so what, what i mean by that the 7.5 k's the 15 k's the 25 k's and the silver packs the rest of them are kind of whack like the chances of you getting something good in a 5k pack or a rare players pack is pretty pretty slim so yeah we'll uh, we'll see what i actually get like i'm watching this back because i should have done this four or five days ago and i've actually forgot what i got uh, I can see Vuitton in there, which I think at the time was going for a little bit due to the Diego Costa SBCs, uh, because there are formulas, which I worked out a couple of them for how to get 84, 85 rated uh, teams for the 
you know the the ratings that you need because it's very very specific um but yeah i i'm not sure if i actually got anything amazing there but anyway hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace